The other day a friend was doing some decluttering and she gave me this little model from the 90s but I think being black and with white spots I think it's quite wearable and I can use it a lot. It's quite long and it has shoulder pads. I hate, absolutely hate shoulder pads so they are going. I'm changing the neckline because it's quite close, it's really up there. And then of course the sleeves. The sleeves are quite tight, even though they are not, uh, it's not my size. I feel them really constricted. And then of course the length, it's really long, so I'll be changing the length as well. That's why I love upcycling and mending in general because you can give it a second chance to all those items you have you don't wear anymore because maybe they are old fashioned, they don't fit properly or maybe they have a stain or something wrong with it and by recycling it you can give it a second chance, a second life and uh, make the most out of the stuff you have. What I'm going to do first is to cut off the shoulder pads so I can then iron it and uh, that makes me able to cut a bit more properly. Should I keep the shoulder pads or not? Hmm. Maybe they're good for something. So I'm going to go on by cutting the sleeves off and taking all the facing around the neckline. It has uh, not the placket one because uh, at some point I need it to be there. I'm not getting rid of all the buttons but uh, I am from this, uh, from the neckline up, so I won't be needing it. It's a pity because it's quite nicely done and it has a hem all around it. So uh, this will take a while. Of course, try the garment on while you are fixing it. When you're doing something from scratch, it's much more difficult to try it on because maybe you need to sew a lot until you have something or you can try on. But uh, from this, it's much easier. You can try it on while you do it and that way you make sure how it's fitting. For example, this one, I was going to cut it open uh, a bit lower so I'm glad I didn't because when I took the shoulder pads off the garment uh, went down a lot so it, it's much lower. So this line has to be a bit up so I'm going to take it up a little bit on the shoulder seam and then that's good because that means that the uh, armhole won't reach almost my waistline. So that's uh, much better. So try it on. And you can even try it on on the wrong side and that way you're already marking what you're going to sew. For example, so this much I have to take up and that way it's already marked. And for the curvier hemline I want to make, I'm going to use the French curves and I have my blouse uh, folded uh, halfway from front to back. This is the front and the back so I'm going to trace a curve taking into account I want to go on top of the side slits because I don't want it that long. 
So that way it should work, in theory. And before cutting, I'm going to add some pins so nothing moves around, because that will be a mess. And everything is in place. Once I've cut the shoulders and the sides, I'm going to fake overlock it or you can also zigzag stitch it or top stitch it, anything, just in case it uh, frays. The placket I'm going to finish it with the facing it brought, I'm going to sew it right sides together so then when I pull it out it's nice, the corner is nicely finished and then I'm going to finish the whole of the neckline with a double hem. And then for the hemline, another double hem. Because this fabric is quite flat and it doesn't stretch at all, I can manage to do it by folding twice and moving my fabric, pivoting, so I can manage to go on with the curve, making sure I pull in all the uh, edge. And the same with the armholes, everything is about double hemming today. Folding twice all around it so it's nicely hemmed. So this is a really easy project to achieve and to copy and you can even make it from some old men's shirts you have and I love how the back looks, I really like it. It's quite comfy, quite nice and cool for the hot days we're having and I'll be wearing it a lot I'm sure. So let me know down in the comments what you thought, if you like it, if you've done something similar and don't forget to subscribe and I leave you here a link to all the upcycling projects I've done like the shirts I'm wearing that were my husband's or for example the scarf dress. Bye! Mm-hmm. <laughs>